Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna talk about whether you need a blower on your DIY hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so a question that I was asked by a customer recently is, do I actually need to have a blower on my DIY hot tub. So I thought, well, I haven't made a video about that, so it's a perfect opportunity for me to make one. So here it is. So a common misconception is that jets on a hot tub are just water. That's not really the case. They're always a mixture of air and water together. So how does that air get in in the first place? Well, you, there's really only two different options. The first option is using a blower, which is kind of like a hairdryer without the heat. You can get heated blowers, although they make absolutely zero difference to the heat in your hot tub. They just inject a small amount of warm air through the, through the jets. It's not gonna heat at all that body of water. If you're not using a blower, then the alternative is Venturi. So you often see these on the plastic shell tubs. It's a little valve that you open up. It allows air to be drawn in. And as the water passes over the pipe with the air valve being open, it allows the air to be drawn in. It goes into the jet and it increases the power of the jet. So if there's two options, there's a blower or there's Venturi, why, why do I need a blower? Now, before we get into that, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything that I do on this channel focuses around DIY hot tubs and plunge pools. So Venturi as a means of getting air into your hot tub jets is great if you're on a plastic shell tub. So the fittings are much smaller, the pipes are smaller, and it does actually work quite well. However, if you're building your own DIY hot tub and you're using block or concrete or ICF block, then you're gonna be using totally different fittings to a plastic shell tub. Now, this is one of the fittings that you're going to be using if you're building out of block, concrete or, or ICF. This is a gunite body and I talked a lot about these on the channel. It's one of my uh, pet projects, if you like, the, the whole gunite process and how you put these things together. However, this is a two inch water line and this is a one and a half inch airline. So straight away, this fitting is expecting to be fed both water and air. And the reason being, if I turn it ever so slightly like this, you should just about be able to see on the camera that there is a hole inside of the gunite body. So when the water comes in through here and it then comes out of the front in the one inch pipe, it's actually passing over or passing beneath rather this air hole. So the water is actually drawing in the air and it's drawing in the air from these airlines. However, these fittings are expecting that the air is under pressure, okay? It's not expecting a, another valve to be open to allow uh, you know, air flow. It's expecting air to be driven through the pipes under pressure. And that's really where the blower comes in. So the main reason that we need a blower on our DIY hot tubs when we're building with concrete block or ICF is that the fitting is expecting the air to be blown in. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to always turn it on. However, it makes a huge difference to the actual water. So behind me here, here's my hot tub. It's, uh, it's running and this is a jet running just on high speed. So at the moment, there's no air going through it at all. Turn on the blower and you can see instantly the difference that that makes. So it's still the same amount of force, the same amount of flow that's coming out of the pump. However, what we're doing is we're mixing air under pressure into those gunite bodies and out of the jets. And as you can see, the result is, is pretty vigorous. 
Now, if I didn't have an air blower and I didn't have that air being delivered under pressure, I wouldn't get the same result. Yes, I would get a very small increase if I had a valve that was large enough to accommodate that one and a half inch airline. However, it's not gonna be anything like the change in power and bubbliness that you get with a air blower. So in conclusion, if you have a plastic shell tub, then you don't necessarily have a blower because the process of Venturi allows for air to be drawn into those jets. However, if you are building a concrete, a block or an ICF block hot tub, the fittings that you're gonna use are gonna be expecting that air to be delivered under pressure into those jets so it can be drawn in and create the bubbly effect that we all know and love in our hot tubs. So hopefully that's answered the question. Any more questions on this matter, please do hit me up in the comments. If I can help you with your own DIY build, then please get in touch. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.